So why have we seen such a huge rise in experiential marketing? Um, it's a very good question. And actually one, I think, primarily driven by the change in who the decision makers are at brands. And um, because they themselves are often, uh, you know, yesterday's, um, you know, young kind of youth in the age of youth brands in the late 90s when you had everyone from Red Bull and Nike to Sony PlayStation, you know, aiming their experiential marketing programs at youth. These youth have grown up and they've become today's marketing directors, CMOs and decision makers. And they know that the best way to engage with a consumer is actually to create a real world, authentic brand experience. Something which is relevant to them, their lifestyle, uh, what they want, what they need. Um, and these real world events, these live brand experiences, give consumers a chance to capture, to use their mobile phone, which obviously is <laughs> you know, the, the first port of call for every young Gen Z or millennial consumer to create some kind of instant disposable piece of content which they can share and use as um, an opportunity to broadcast their life in pictures. And um, a live brand experience gives us, gives us that opportunity. So it really is uh, the way forward and we're seeing lots of consumers, even at very, very young age, um, much more happy to interact with an authentic brand, and a brand that talks about its true heritage, its provenance, its brand values, its purpose, uh, rather than engage with some kind of traditional advertising story that might have been you know, synthetic or, or otherwise engineered.